So today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Mr. Krabs. All right. So we're going to start off, we're going to draw the entire thing in pencil and we'll go back in and color them in here in just a moment. Uh, now to help you guys out, I will be adding the finished drawing right here above the logo. That way you guys have something to reference while you draw. Okay. So I'm going to start off with my pencil and kind of in the middle of the page, I'm going to go ahead and start with his eye. Okay. So if you remember, Mr. Krabs has these long skinny eyes. So I'm going to draw, it's almost going to be like an oval. Okay, and then it's going to come around and it kind of comes back in and it's going to get skinnier at the bottom. Okay. So something kind of like that. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and draw his next eye. So I'm going to put a line underneath at a little bit of an angle. It's going to come up and it's going to be where we draw his next eye. It's going to be a very similar shape to this first one. Okay. So it's just going to come up. Kind of go with that same shape. I'm gonna make this side just a little bit taller though, okay? Something kind of like that. All right, I'm gonna come back down. And again, it's gonna get smaller at the base. Like that, okay? All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and give them some pupils while we're here. So these are just gonna be ovals, kind of in the top center of his eye, right? Something like that. Okay, I'm gonna do another one at the same height on the other eye. All right, awesome. And then we'll give them these eyelashes, which I think that's what they are. And basically I'm just gonna do three on each. And these are just gonna be little ovals. Two, three, like that. Okay, so we can go ahead and do that on the other eye. All right, great job. Okay. So now we're gonna pretend like this eye actually comes kind of in front of his head. So I'm gonna make this one come down just a little bit further. And I'm just gonna draw a line that comes at an angle, okay, like that. And then it's just gonna connect back to his eye. All right, and I'm just gonna cut over. That way it looks like his eye is like connected to his body, okay? So then we're gonna start on his head again and we're gonna continue, pretend like this line just keeps on coming. It's gonna come up just a little bit and this is where it goes down. Okay, so it kind of makes a sharp angle down, kind of comes back, then kind of down again, then maybe just a little one. All right, and then we do one more like that. Okay. All right, now let's start on the other side of his face. So I'm going to go down just a little bit. This is going to be where we draw his nose. Okay, so kind of starting from the inside here, he has that squiggly nose. So basically what we're going to do is just do some zigzags. Kind of like this. Okay. And then what we're going to do is make it come to a point like that. And then we're just going to kind of do the same shape on the bottom, kind of keeping that same distance between the lines. Okay. Something kind of like that. All right. And then we're going to continue his head. So we're going to pretend like this line kind of keeps on coming. It's going to come down like that. All right, awesome job. Now we can go ahead and draw his shirt. All right, so this is gonna be a straight line like this. Then it comes down, we're just gonna make the letter V like this. And then we're just gonna go ahead and connect it to the side over here. I'm gonna make this side just a little bit longer like that. That way it connects. All right, okay. So now we can go ahead and draw his smile. And I'm just gonna draw a diagonal line like this. And then it just curves up and goes into a smile. It can go a little bit past his eye. And if you give him a bigger smile or a smaller smile, that's all right. Okay, so I'm gonna draw another line that kind of continues down. Again, kind of the same line here and then I'm gonna draw the letter V. So it's just gonna make like a triangle, like that on one side. I'm gonna make a little bit bigger one on this other side. All right, so something kind of like that. All right, and that's gonna kind of be like the collar of his shirt, all right? Okay, so now at where we made this V, I'm gonna go just straight across like this. It's gonna go out a little bit further than his nose. It's just gonna curve like that. All right, and then I'm gonna draw his arm. That's what we're gonna start on. So I'm gonna draw a line that comes in. I'm just gonna draw a curved line at the edge like that. 
And then again, just draw a line like that, because that's gonna be the start of his arm. And then I'm gonna draw the bottom of his sleeve, okay? And this basically just goes like this, kind of into his shirt a little bit. So if you just extend his shirt, okay? All right, let's go ahead and draw his claw or his arm. So it's just gonna come out, something kind of like this. It's gonna slowly get a little bit bigger. And then it's just gonna curve and go up like there. And kind of once you get to like around where his nose is, maybe a little bit below, we're gonna stop. Okay, so same thing over here, like that. All right, now he does have his big claws, okay? So this is basically gonna be almost like a circle, all right? So if you watch this, we just kind of come up and it's gonna go almost as high as his pupil. Okay, and I'm drawing a little bit darker so you guys can see it. If you wanna draw lighter in case you have to erase, that's okay. I'm gonna stop right there, okay? Now I'm gonna start at the bottom. I'm just gonna draw a claw that comes out. And it's gonna go a little bit further than this side. I'm just gonna go, maybe even stop like here, okay? All right, now we're gonna draw kind of the inside of the claw, okay? And this is just gonna be some uh, zigzags, all right? So I'm just gonna draw a line that comes down after it curves around. It's gonna come up and down and up and down. Kind of make a little curve. So that's kind of the bottom of his claw. I'm gonna draw up and down, okay? and down and draw another zigzag kind of like this and draw one more like that okay so you see how it's just kind of like zigzags in there all right and then to make his claws look like they're gonna be shiny i'm gonna leave a couple marks kind of look like this and i'm gonna leave that white when i color it in okay I'm gonna put another bigger one up top here. Like that. All right, awesome job so far. So let's continue drawing his body, all right? So from where his sleeve is, I'm gonna draw a line that kind of comes out a little bit further. It's just gonna curve down. This is gonna be the start of his pants, all right? Okay, so then I'm gonna draw this line just kind of keeps on coming a little bit. And this is gonna be where we connect it over there. But we haven't drawn the other arm, so we're gonna wait just a second. So I'm gonna draw, it's gonna be at the same angle as this line. It's gonna be a line that comes down a little bit. And it's gonna curve over. All right, something like that. And then kind of once you get to about where his sleeve is, you can go ahead and stop. That's gonna be where we're gonna put his first pant leg, okay? And this is going to cut over like this and just come up. All right. And then from here, I'm going to draw, it's going to be like the bottom part of his pants, okay? So it's going to come in to make it look like there's a crease. And I'm just going to put like the letter V, like a sideways V like that, okay? All right. And then we'll go ahead and draw his leg. So he just has these pointy legs kind of like the Patrick video, if you remember doing his legs. So something kind of like that. All right, and then we're just gonna make this come over and we'll draw his next leg here in just a moment, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and draw his other arm and then that way we know where the rest of his body is, okay? So now I'm gonna draw a line that comes over at a little bit of an angle down and it's just gonna curve like this. And then we're gonna draw a line that's like back in, kind of like that. All right, awesome. And then kind of the same depth that you made this line over here, the same distance you made him apart, we're gonna go ahead and make his other arm over here, okay? So I'm just gonna draw it over. We'll stop like there. Kind of however long you think looks good. Okay, I'm gonna draw another line, kind of the same distance. All right, awesome. And then we're gonna go ahead and draw 
hit down, okay? 72 after tries, elbow, so this line's gonna be extended a little bit further and come down. All right, awesome. So now like we did over here, we're gonna kind of draw a circle shape. So we're gonna give one arm up and one arm down, kind of like he has a hand on his hip or something like that. All right, so we're not going any further out. What I wanna do is just keep coming down And then that's where I'm gonna draw the circle, okay? I'm gonna stop there. All right, great job. Okay, then I'll draw the top of his claw. So I'm gonna come in a little bit and it's just gonna be a line that comes back over like this. And there's not a very big gap between his two claws here. So I'm gonna make it a little bit closer. And again, we're gonna just do those like zigzag lines. Kind of come in and then we'll draw another one. And if you choose to make yours pointy or you choose to make yours kind of the soft edges, whatever you do is okay. I think if you're just consistent with it, it'll look best. All right, something kind of like that. All right, now let's go ahead and draw the side of his body, okay? So this line comes down. If you remember, his pants are over here. So we're gonna draw a little lip to his pants. It's gonna come down like this. And then that's just gonna be barely touching. And it's gonna come in. And this is how we know where to put his other pant leg, okay? So I'm gonna draw this line that comes straight down like we did over here. It's gonna come over. And then we just come back up like that. Once it's about the same distance apart from those two as these two, okay? And I can just extend this line and do the same thing that we did on the other side. We're just gonna make like a sideways V. Okay, and again, just a pointy foot. Just kind of like the letter V, just like that. All right, awesome. So now we still have to do a couple more things. So from kind of this line over here, okay. so we're just gonna do this curved line, like I said, and then we're just gonna connect it to over here, all right? So it's just gonna come down and come over like that. All right, now Mr. Krabs typically has a belt on, so we're gonna go ahead and draw his belt, okay? So from here, we're just gonna draw some rectangles. It's gonna be down, like that, and just a straight line. All right, and I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap. Gonna draw another line, and this is gonna be where we have his buckle, okay? So this one's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna just draw a straight line, but we're gonna extend it on both sides. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit bigger than this belt. And then we're just gonna do this. Kind of over, and this is just gonna be a square. Like that. And then we're gonna do the inside of it. So, let's draw a line that's about as wide as what the belt is. Like that. All right, awesome job so far. Yours is looking great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and continue this line. Again, just draw like this curved rectangle. It's gonna kinda of have the same curve as, as his pants up here, okay? Something like that. It's gonna be down, leave a little gap. Draw one more rectangle. And down like that. All right, and then we're gonna put this section of his pants. So we're just gonna draw this line that comes down, kind of curves, and it's just gonna go back up. All right, and then one more line, just like that. All right, so then we just have one more thing, and that's like we did up here, how we made the claw shiny. We're gonna do it to this claw as well, okay? So I'm just gonna draw a little mark, like that one we did. I'm gonna draw it here, I'm gonna draw a bigger one, the top of his claw, 
or in this case, I guess the bottom. Just like that. All right, now, just like that, you are all done drawing Mr. Krabs, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and color him in now. Um, and as you can see from the re reference photo, I'm probably gonna color his claws in red and his pants blue and kind of his shirt, like that lighter blue. Uh, but you guys are welcome to color him in whatever colors you'd like, or you can pause the video at the end and match the colors that I chose. So as you can see, I chose to color in my Mr. Krabs um, with the dark blue pants and the light blue shirt and just kind of colored him that bright red color. Um, but I'd love to see what you guys came up with. So feel free to tag me on any social media posts or have you or a parent email me your finished drawing at drawingjoshua123 at gmail.com. Now I'm always looking for what uh, to draw next. So if you guys want to learn to draw something specific, feel free to drop it in the comments below. Uh, but otherwise, please remember that drawing takes practice. So practice and practice and remember to always have fun. Thanks, everyone.